Let's look at doing a bitmap fill in Affinity Designer, a beginner's guide for iPad. First, open Affinity Designer on your iPad, as usual. Now, open a new document and draw a shape or design or even an image on your canvas. Select the Shape tool and create a shape and fill it with a colour using the Colour Picker tool. Select the Gradient Fill tool. You can see it on the left there. It's got an unusual name, but it is a Gradient Fill tool. Then tap on the Layer icon, that's the blue dot on the right there, to display the Context Toolbar, which won't display naturally down the bottom unless you tap on the blue icon. In the context toolbar, select the type of bitmap, or select the type bitmap. We haven't got the actual bitmap yet. A large circle will appear, and upon selecting bitmap, you'll be taken to your folder where textures are kept. That's your bitmaps, usually PNG or JPG files, as follows. There we go. A new window will appear, and find the texture in your assets folder and select it it will open. So somewhere in there you keep your assets. You'll see the texture now filling your shape and in that case I've got mm, kind of a rainbow texture you can see there. With the gradient handles, that's those that triangle or right angle I should say, with the dots on it you can adjust the size of the texture and you can see there that I've dragged the handles in to make the, the little textures much smaller and give it a wavy pattern. To change the texture, re-select bitmap in the type box and then select a new texture. And I've got there what appears to be an old envelope. You can even add images as a fill. This is a great way to create your own framed pictures. And that's it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel at the following address you can see that there when you're probably on the channel so just click the subscribe button it helps to keep me focused